Welcome back everyone. Right, we are getting on to doing some tenons, some through tenons on these uh, dovetail drawer runner doodahs. Okay, so this is the back rail of the sideboard. I've already marked the inside points of the drawer runners, which are going to come up here. So I've got my um, double tenon, which is going to go through there. And yeah, the inside of this board is going to be bang on that line, if I want my drawer to work nicely. So I will try and make that happen. So I'm just going to describe where the tenon is. Okay, so the hardest part about this kind of joinery is making a nice clean hole on the, the show face. I'm not too worried about my marks, it's probably hard to see them, but I've got kind of scribe lines and stuff everywhere on the inside. It doesn't really matter. On the outside, I really want to avoid scribe lines too much if I can. Um, so at the, at the moment I've just got pencil lines where the tenon should be um, in this orientation. Now I'm going to set my scribe to each point of the tenon, the top of that tenon, then the bottom of that tenon, then the top of that tenon, and the bottom of that one, and make those lines. Hopefully that works. Now with all the sides of the tenons described. Now all I have to do is uh, drill a hole through there and clean it up perfectly. Easy air.
Okay, with the joinery pretty much done, I'm just going to clean up all the legs and put a small arras on all the corners to make it uh, feel a bit nicer. And then I can start gluing things up. Alright, so I've got this number 50 Stanley combination plane. I managed to pick up a few of the cutters, um, which is helpful sometimes. I've really only needed to use this plane a handful, maybe three times, uh, over like however many years. In this case, it's going to be really handy for forming a groove into my rails which I can then make buttons to hold the top onto my um, the base of the unit. Uh, usually these days I would use a domino to, to make a little mortise. In this case I'm going to have to make a groove uh, which is fine. Uh, they're a bit tricky to use and you actually kind of work from the, f from the front of you backwards instead of playing all the way through. You take small bites from the front and then move back. So another stressful glue up, uh, I've got the draw front clamped in place as a spacer, uh, we'll see how well that works when the clamps come off, uh, otherwise it's gone together okay. This corner here is actually lifted up a couple of mil so it's not sitting flat and I, there must be a problem with uh, the joinery here I guess. I'm not sure what is making that lift up. The other corner is sitting pretty flat, so. You pull that black lever towards me. Yeah. Too tight. Yeah. Right, we'll just put these Alright, so I had to take a couple of days off working on this because uh, 
life. Um, so, where are we? I need to get the top sorted out to attach to this. Now, something is not quite square, one of these joints, and I think at the back corner. This corner particularly is actually diving down by a reasonable amount. If I put this on. Not sure if you can see, but um, look at that. Something's not sitting right anyway. Uh, what needs to happen is this this whole section needs to be clamped up. And what it does is pull, pulls the leg in and actually pulls the leg into line with the other one. So it does actually want to be forced right up there. So that's fine. I'll deal with that. Um, so I think the first thing to do now is to actually form the buttons that will sit into these grooves I made. Uh, and then I can work at clamping the top down. I've marked a square line on the end of each end of the top, square as I can uh, kind of make it. I'm just going to scribe that with my knife. So I've got a little bit of a loose knot just here which comes through to this side plus some weird kind of little cracks. This is right off the end of the board. I mean I've only just taken the green paint off the end from the manufacturer, the mill. So what I'm going to do, I know it's cheating but this is what it is. I'm going to fill some of these cracks and just stabilize it a little bit with some super glue okay looking at the bottom of the top I've marked, got a couple of marks where the end of the side table finishes I want to create a taper so the part that overhangs off the end of the uh, sideboard is going to taper down to a thinner point and I'll just kind of guesstimate a thickness somewhere about half I suppose line and that gives me something down to plane down to I want to try and minimize the tear out here as much as I can so I'll make a cut line Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, that's hard work. Um, right, we'll leave that there for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think I'll do some cleanup off camera and then I'll be on to the, making a draw on the next video. See ya.